Welcome back to another year with me, James Russell. I'm here with our new series called Tidbits. It's all about uh, small, tasty pieces of food. That's the actual definition, but we're going for a small and particularly interesting item of gossip or information. And your gossip slash information is what I'm going to show you in these five minute videos. I'm going to attempt to take you through everything from how to make a square, how to make layers, how to make a 3D object, what a particular tool does. I'm going to cram it down to a five minute video so that you can search for it, you can find it really easily and have a look through it. But I wanted to firstly talk about what I've got going on here. This is the starting intro that you would have seen at the beginning of this clip and I'm going to use it as the trailer for most of our tidbit videos. I've just been working on a little project and I kind of got caught up with it. I've been working on it for like six, maybe seven hours and this is the result thus far. Uh, just testing out my programming skills, getting back in the groove of things, also trying to learn a little bit of Python which I haven't quite got my head around. So this is still done in VectorScript 2015. I just wanted to show it to you because I've actually just replicated Pac-Man with a whole heap of detection devices. So I'm going to double click it and we'll see what happens. It'll run a little bit slower on my computer because I am recording at the same time but uh, if you want to you can download it and try it for yourself so here I am you can use the WASD keys to move around so I'm going to move my Pac-Man to the left I can move him up I'm going to attempt to go get some cherries over there in the top left hand corner and like I said the speeds are a little bit slower because I am recording at the same time on my second monitor you'll also notice the ghost AI is quite interesting it's based on an old snake program and you'll see I've crashed and died into a wall there by accident the Ghost AI is actually a bounce reflector that I've made on an old snake program a little while ago on one of the TI-83+, Plus. if anyone ever had that old calculator. And so he's just bouncing around off all the walls. I have implemented four in there as well, but they take up a lot of processing. Pac-Man, if he jumps into a wall, we're using a location command for that. So if he happens to bounce into a wall of any kind, he self-destructs and kills himself in that animation. And also, if you pick up the cherry, it'll add to your score counter, which you'll see down the bottom right-hand corner as a script message. Now, like I said, I have got this file available for download, so there'll be a link in the description if you want to follow that. Also, if you want to check out the scripting behind it, it's kind of cool. That's about all I really wanted to talk about. This is the start of the series. Stay tuned. I'm going to start recording everything from how to use the curse tool, how to make boxes and squares, how to do all your 2D functions. I just want you to be able to have a massive library here where you can go, how do I use the rotate tool, find a five minute video on it, take it away from there. Anyway, check out the awesome Pac-Man stuff that I've got going on and I will see you soon.